are we doing? I hope we have a super nice day. I'm Eva, and I make YouTube videos about veganism, raw veganism and a lot of other topics. And today's topic is super interesting because it's about Tim Cheap. Um, Tim Cheap is a former vegan who claimed to be no longer vegan one month or some month ago. And yeah, I think this topic is super interesting so I thought why not make kind of a response video. So maybe some information about Tim Cheap. First of all, he is a former two-time world champion in free running and I've watched a video and it was absolutely amazing what he did with his body, it's super inspiring and he promoted the vegan diet so he basically made a lot of people consider going vegan or even go to go vegan which is absolutely amazing, the more people on a vegan diet the better um, for the environment, animals etc. Um, yeah, however, he tried some very weird things. For example, he tried along his way, for example, he tried urine therapy, which is basically drinking your own urine for, I don't know, whatever reasons. However, I don't believe in it because I think that your body is getting rid of toxins through your urine. So basically, when you drink your urine, you're regaining all your toxins, which is not the best option. Then he did a 35 day water fast which is absolutely insane I think because it's important to understand that water fast can be beneficial if you have diseases etc however I would never recommend you to do them alone only do them supervised in good centers where you have people who are very experienced and you know everything about water fasting so you're in good hands because there's so much to know about water fasting I think it's like getting a child and um, because of course it's natural but it's still something that I would never do alone without supervision um, because for example the refeeding process is very important to understand that you have to um, take some time to refeed so you have to take it very slow the first month especially at the 35 days it's will take you even one month or longer to refeed like you have to eat only food for two three weeks etc then you have to start very 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 slowly to incorporate cooked foods because your body has not digested foods for a very long time so when you eat very heavy to digest food like um i don't know um animal products then it's super unhealthy for your body and it, it can really damage your body and I think that's what he did um, I think that he said he ate some animal products only three days or something afterwards and I'm just like how crazy is this so it's very important to start very very slow and also it's important to remember that you will not get to your peak performance um, after only two days, it will take you a month, a month, a month to get back to your peak level. So you can't really expect to go on a, such a long water fast and then be on your top level like two days later. It's not what's going to happen. So that's something that he did. And I think that the next thing that he did was just trying out the raw vegan diet. And I'm fully believing in the raw vegan diet. I believe it's super amazing. I'm doing it myself for over one and a half years now or at least highly raw but it's so much to learn like you have to know how much calories has a certain food because it's easy to under eat on a raw vegan diet and it's also you have just you have to have a lot of experience you have to have a lot of information about it and it's easy to get caught up in detox etc and in just cleanses etc so it's important to eat enough calories because your body needs calories just to survive on any diet your body needs calories and if you don't give your body food well then you will crave high calorie high calorie dense food like animal products and i think this is something that happens to him so yeah this, these were the reasons that i think tim chief started eating animal products again and I think it was really mind-blowing how it I generally always believe it's super mind-blowing if somebody is promoting um the vegan diet and then goes off the vegan diet because for me a vegan diet is so much more it's about lifestyle it's not just a diet and it's it's about the animals and I think I've watched later a response video of Kim Chief and um, where he claims 
um, that su su really it's super funny in a way because he says like we are already destroying the environment so let's destroy more or we are already killing animals no matter on which diet you are you are killing animals so it doesn't matter on which diet you are which i completely do not agree with because it's absolutely nonsense to me because for me there's a huge difference if you're vegan and you are basically sitting in a car and then you drive and then you drive over an ant because you haven't seen the ants and then on the other side killing over seven billion animals like um, pigs chickens um, cows etc seven billion in a year for your pleasure and your food which is destroying the planet the environment killing animals and destroying your health and so there is a huge difference and it definitely matters to me on which diet you are um, <laughs> so I don't I, th I think his argument doesn't make sense um, so this is what I wanted to share and I don't want to attack him as a personality I don't know I don't know his personality he might be a very nice guy um, I just wanted to share this video to give you information to not slip off a vegan diet um, yeah, or get caught in all those detox forms and um, I think that's super important so but still I'm grateful for what he's done for the vegan community like inspiring people to go vegan um, I really inspire this and this is basically all I wanted to share before I start rambling so if you have any more questions please ask me on YouTube or on Instagram and I would be super glad, glad um, on answering you your questions and if you like this video please give it a like um, or subscribe it would mean the world to me and I wish you a super nice day have a good time goodbye